Hi there, it's Melissa with melissaesplin.com. I'm here to show you a little bit more about the Sakura Koi Watercolor Field Sketch Box. Um, they have come out with a bunch of different ones in the past. This is brand new. They just launched in, on December 1st, 36 pan set and a 48 pan set. This is the 48 pan set. It's just about six inches by eight inches. It's a good size. It is super compact, doesn't take up a whole lot of space on your desk or on your lap if you're on the go. And the colors are super vibrant. I've just created this color card here of what these colors actually look like on paper and they're super saturated colors. You can mute it down if you'd like. Um, but I just, I really, really love how bright they are and how vibrant they stay on the paper. If you look over here at these more earthy tones um, you'll see this granulation in the gradation and it is spectacular. It's very reminiscent of Daniel Smith watercolors, which I love, So, but without the price tag. So it's, it's much more affordable than Daniel Smith. It's compact and it's just, it's a great set. Um, I've done some various projects with the Sakura Koi sketch box lately and it's just so nice because I usually have a million papers on my desk at any given time so it is nice to have something that doesn't take up a whole lot of space and I can still use it within my workflow it's got great quality um, let's do a little pine bow with the material so you can see it in action um, one of the things that I really like about this set is the fact that you have some really great muted um, you have some great muted greens. Sometimes you get these watercolor sets that have just, the greens are way too jewel tone and it really just, it, it doesn't look good. I don't like them. I want my muted greens and of course you can always mix your muted greens and that's totally fine. Um, but it is nice to just have those ready to rock and roll. I particularly love these greens right here. You've got you know, something reminiscent to a hooker's green, uh, just sort of a lighter, not quite a lime green, sort of a muted lime. And then this looks a lot like chromium oxide, which I use a ton of. So I really like these greens right here. Um, the, the browns and the, the uh, more neutral colors are also really great. You've got a lot of different colors to choose from. So um, I'm just, mixing these on the provided paint palette. I love that it has so many different sections that you can use for your paint palette. Um, you know, you really just have, you can dirty up that paint palette and just, it works really well. You can go back to those colors and you're not, you know, you, you have a lot of options simply because you have so many, so many different compartments, but also, you know, the compartments allow you to create larger quantities of mixed colors, which I really, really like. Um, so here I'm just creating a pine bow. I go, you know, my browns first and then sort of muddier, lighter greens um, next. And then I let that dry and then I add in my more jewel tone greens on top of that just to add a little bit of extra depth. Um, so we're just waiting for those to dry just a little bit. Um, now we're gonna add those darker greens in there. And I'm using just the very, very tip of my brush so I can get really light strokes. Mm -hmm. And the provided water brush, it's very, very uh, versatile. It holds a ton of pigment. So if you, if you want to get very fine lines, you want to err on the side of drier with your pigment than wet. Um, and you also want to twist as you lift your brush off the page. So it gives you that extra bit of control. Um, but you know, you can forego the, the water vessel. You know, I've got small kids. They're always coming into my studio, pushing on my elbows, which if you're a calligrapher, you know, that's like the cardinal sin of anybody approaching you. So, um, this is just nice that I don't have to worry about any jars or vessels tipping over and destroying whatever I'm working on. I highly recommend it. Um, treat yourself this Christmas.
get one of these things. It's great for beginners, intermediate or advanced watercolors. If you're just getting into watercolor, um, check this out. It's super affordable and check out the work of Natalie Malin. She is a great instructor. I've taken a class or two from her and she's awesome. Um, and you can learn a little bit more about doing foliage and stuff that's really popular right now. So good luck, enjoy, and um, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about these materials or if you have any recommendations on what you'd like me to review next. Take care.